All right, so like I always like to say, another busy day today on the farm. Everybody's awake, waiting on me. I'm running a little behind. I think I was just more having more of a lazy morning than anything that of any actual reason to be behind today. So, rain last night. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. I'm hoping to be able to get most of the stuff done this morning. I, I want to get some more holes dug. If it doesn't rain, I might even uh, I'm gonna go around the side. I might even uh, get the gravely out and start and start kind of brush hogging some of that back area and get that stuff done. I'm super excited. They took that pole out. Well, I guess they kind of took the pole out that I wanted them to take out. They didn't take the whole thing out. I think that apparently they dug down a little bit. They cut it out and then laid it there because apparently I told them I wanted it. But at the end of the day, it works out. I can use it as a corner post. Well, a couple corner posts depending on the size of it. So that'll be nice. So it's kind of like free, free posts, which so it'll probably save me couple dollars but we'll go ahead and get the um the morning chores done and like i said i'm gonna probably hopefully get to the back dig some holes maybe gravely if not i have a few inside projects i have a bathroom remodel i did whew, a bunch of months ago that i just haven't finished i need to fill holes paint stuff like that hi baby um uh, fill holes paint stuff like that um, i need to do and or i need to organize my basement my basement is looks horrible there's just stuff everywhere. Stuff's been thrown down there after projects have been done and everything else. So it's just a lot of stuff. But we'll go ahead and get started with the chores this morning. One of our bunnies here. He's a Lapland something something. I don't know. He's super sweet. Um, eventually this will actually go out into the garden area. Right now we just have it close to the house just because it makes it a little bit easier doing the chores in the morning. Uh, but these little guys will go out into the garden area and then so we'll, we can give them like scraps from the garden stuff like that and also their poop will actually fall through the bottom of this and then we can use it as fertilizer in the garden as well. 
but they're very sweet. Yes, you are. So, oh, how much got tag guys? So we got two new goats. Hi, Hi babies. Hi, babies. So we got two new goats. I forget what their names are, but we got two new ones. Hi, Bubby. Oh yeah, you're still learning us. So they are actually full-blooded fainting goats. So they will actually faint if they get scared, which my family is apparently very excited to torture my goats one day. They, they pretty much cleared out this entire area. Uh, so that's why I'm still working on trying to get some more fencing up for them in this back area so they have even more space. I knew this was kind of a temporary solution. I figured it made me feel a little bit better that I was like, okay, at least they have a little something they can eat. But like you can see, they pretty much cleaned this whole area up. So it's still go time. I'm going to work on digging these uh, last couple posts down this far line here uh, right after our eight foot gate. So I'm going to dig those. And then uh, I'm hoping, weather permitting, I'm going to get the Gravely out. And then, and I'll kind of introduce you to Gravely. Uh, she is a, uh, she is a beast, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, and I'll go over a little bit about her, but then, uh, and then I'll cut the line down through there and hopefully get the stakes in and maybe get those holes dug today. I'd love to get all my holes dug today for the entire fence line. I'd feel super productive if I got that done today. But like I said, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. It's a really weird day, uh, especially for January. I'm not sure when this will get posted, but for January, it's like 55 degrees and it's like 9 or 9.30 in the morning. Uh, so kind of weird day. Hi, oh, baby. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hello. They are very sweet, as you can tell. So they were a good addition to the herd, I think. This, my friends, is the Gravely Super Convertible. Uh, this one was made in the 1970s, I believe. Uh, if I've done my research right, this one came in about the 1970s. So basically what it is, is it's a walk behind tractor. So it has a front PTO, and I have a couple different attachments that actually go on this. This is the brush hog blade. This is a 30 inch cut brush hog blade, but it's direct drive. It's a super, super simple engine this one actually has the electric start on it some of them are pull start this one has the electric start it's a two cycle engine i believe it's seven and a half horsepower i could be wrong there i apologize if i'm wrong but it's like seven and a half horsepower like i said super simple engine uh one day i want to actually come and i want to replace the seals in this it also does not have a muffler on this side because uh, it actually was broken off when i got it so it's a it's something that eventually i want to want to fix but it just hasn't been high on the priority list it is it is air cooled i don't know what the dog's doing behind the camera uh, it is air cooled it's an air cooled engine so it has no uh, antifreeze or anything like that uh, oil gas it runs on gas i run of course uh unethanol uh no ethanol unleaded gas in this um, which just because of how old it is is, is what needs to be run in it uh, it has a marine battery that actually is what it uses to start itself uh, but this thing is a beast. It basically eats through stuff. 
it, it just decimates everything. Uh, I have a bunch of different attachments. I have a snowblower attachment, the two brush hog attachments, uh, a couple of snow blades, a tiller slash cultivator. And I actually have a, there's another part that actually will bolt onto the back of this and I can actually sit and ride. I have not found where I can use it yet. It may work if I'm in like a field or something like that. It may work to actually ride around in a field, but for stuff like this, it's best to walk behind. Uh, it literally has what two levers, uh, one for a high and low, a high and low gear, and then it has a forward reverse and then a throttle on the other side. This engages your PTO, and then that's what fires this up. I do have an issue with a spring in the back. I bought some springs. Apparently, they're slightly too big and won't fit on the hole. So I think I'm going to have to go back to what I did before, which was zip tie the spring together to uh, increase the tension on it because that's really the the biggest problem with it right now is it loses its tension or maybe I can figure out a different way to do it. But um, I'm going to fire this guy up. Uh, like I said, I got a couple shots of me coming out of the barn. It'll be epic. I will probably won't have much volume on those. But we're going to go ahead and clear the rest of this. What I need to clear out for my fence line. It's raining just a little bit. I did not make it. <laughs> it's so bad. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.